Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about another issue with OLS when uh, there are outliers or influential observations in the data set. And in some applications, especially with small observations, the OLS estimates are sensitive to the inclusion of uh, one or more observations. When we have uh, this problem, if we draw influential observations from the analyses, the OLS estimators, they change rather dramatically. For example, if we may be estimating the impact of uh, two variables x and y, and the relationship between x and y could be represented using uh, this regression line. If we have an influential observation in the data set, for example, if we have an observation like this observation, we can see that if we include this observation in the data set, the regression line will change dramatically. And dropping this line will shift the regression line. The impact of including or excluding this observation on the estimates that we will get will be large. So there are two reasons of uh, outliers in the data. And the first is uh, because of mistakes in the data set. So for example, you may be entering your data and instead of uh, entering 1000, you entered 1.000. So here, this is the mistake that we made while entering our data. And uh, when we are in this type of situation, then we are better off uh, discarding uh, this observation from our analysis. That is why it is always a good idea to look at uh, the summary statistics and the maximum and the minimum value in your data set to know whether you have any influential observation in your data set. And the second reason of outliers could be your data generating process. That is, you got the data which looks perfectly, but it may have this extreme observation. In this type of situation, the decision to include or exclude this uh, observation from the data set is not very easy and you should be very cautious about it. These are the two reasons. The first is uh, somebody made a mistake and you know that it was a mistake. For example, if uh, we are collecting data about blood pressure and somebody entered somebody's blood pressure as 340 and the rest of the observation lies in between 80 and uh, 180, you know that this extreme observation is uh, a mistake so we should be probably better off uh, discarding this uh, observation from the data set on the other hand if uh, the outlier is uh, a result of data generating process then the decision is kind of difficult okay in the next video i'm going to show you an example in r where we'll have an outlier and i'll show you what happens to the estimates when we include or exclude that outlier from our regression model and later on, I'll talk about another method of dealing with the outliers. And that method is a little bit more resilient to outliers. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.